Welcome Cancer, my name is Rosa and I am here to bring you your new weekly love read. I thought we would ask the tarot cards today how your soulmate truly feels towards you. As always Cancer, these readings are for entertainment only, so just take the parts that speak for you and leave what doesn't. To kickstart this read, I thought we would look at your feelings towards them first. So let's start there. Okay, so you're coming through as the King of Swords. I'm just going to make sure this is in view, the sun. Okay, and guys, if you resonate with this reading, if you vibe with it, if you got value out of this, then don't forget to hit that like button to let me know. Um, we'll take the top card, so the Four of Swords. We'll take that one. All right, how does Cancer feel towards their soulmate? Okay, first card coming through is the King of Swords. I feel that you are trying to be more in your logic. Okay, you're trying to be head over heart. Perhaps you're trying not to feel so much or you're trying to detach from your emotions right now. And I see that in two cards because the King of Swords, he could be very detached emotionally. And then we've got the Four of Swords over here, which represents silence. So you may feel you may be feeling distant. Or you may feel the need to be distant with your person. But in this card, I see a heart that is tied up on a string. And this is that red string. You feel the connection to this person. You feel the connection, but you're trying to detach from your emotions. For some of you, I'm seeing this Four of Swords as a woman. She's sort of, you know, crouching in this nest or she's laying in this nest. The nest represents your home, the safety of your home, your sanctuary. So, Cancer, you may be feeling like you've retreated. You've, re you've retreated yourself uh, from this person. But ultimately, with the Sun card and the Knight of Swords, this person makes you feel happy. The Sun. You feel so much joy when maybe you're around them or when you're talking to them, when you're spending time with them. You feel really happy. They make you happy, Cancer. You feel attracted to them. You feel like you want to move towards them because the Knight of Wands, he is the Knight that wants to take action. So there's some kind of action you want to take here. But with the Four of Swords tells me that you're, you're holding back from taking any kind of action. You feel right now that maybe silence or distance is best when it comes to your soulmate. Now, in this King of Swords, there's a, an owl. An owl represents wisdom. So I feel here that this is you telling yourself that this is the smartest thing I need to do. This is a smart move. Yeah, they make me happy. Yeah, I want to, you know, rip their clothes off because I'm so attracted to them. But right now, the smart thing to do is just remain cool, calm and collected. <laughs> cancer so let's see how your person feels towards you okay let's see how your soulmate is feeling towards cancer guys i'm also over on instagram if you would like to connect with me over there the reason why i'm mentioning that is because i have recently uploaded some uh readings for all the signs um if you're a little bit curious feel free to check them out
because who knows, there might be a message over there waiting for you. Oh my God, check out these cards, Cancer. I'm laughing, I'm laughing. I'm laughing on the inside, right? <laughs> I'll explain to you in a moment. All right, this one wants to come through. The tower, interesting. I didn't expect the tower to come through, but anyway, let's take a look. So Six of Cups, this person is feeling very nostalgic. I get the sense that your soulmate is missing you. Okay, if you're not together, they miss you big time or they're feeling nostalgic and they're going back to old photographs or they're just remembering the good old times. Maybe you've known this person uh, since your childhood, but maybe you've known them since you were younger, like in your younger years. But they feel that they have this beautiful bond with you and there's there's been this evolution They've gone through many chapters or many years. They've gone through many things with you here, Cancer. That's how they feel. They, they feel loyal to you or you have this beautiful friendship or loyalty here. They feel with the Magician card that they want to manifest something here with you. And what they want to manifest is two things. They want to create new memories here with you and they feel like they want to take a leap of, chan uh, leap of chance, a leap of faith towards you. They want to take a chance. Something is holding them back. But they want a new beginning here with you and they're trying really hard to manifest this new beginning. The Fool also represents someone who seeks adventure. So they feel like with you that you would have so much adventure with each other. It would never be boring. It would never be dull. Like never, never a dull moment with you, Cancer, right? Especially with the moods. And I say that in a good way because I'm a Cancer. So you never know what you're going to get when, you, when you're with a Cancer. <laughs> The tower, they feel that the foundation of this connection is shifting. Or they feel like they need to make some kind of a change here. They feel that they need to make some changes. So let's get some extra messages. Um, Get some extra messages, Cancer, and see what else we need to know when it comes to your soulmate's feelings towards you. You've, you've really affected them because this lightning is striking this tower. It's like you've impacted them or you've affected them in some way. The card fell on the ground, but I'll take separation. So right now they feel... They feel distant. Maybe you're separated. Maybe you've gone through a separation. Maybe they're missing you. Maybe they want you back. But right now I get the sense that you are, there's a distance with this separation card between you both. It could be physical distance. Maybe they work away. Maybe your soulmate works away. Maybe they live in a different state. And when I look at this card, this soldier, he's got his hand on his heart. This person is really missing you, Cancer. Like really, really misses you. You know, um, what, what's that saying? Um, absence makes the heart grow fonder. And I feel like that's what's happening here. Oh, wow. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Didn't you get that a while ago? Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. I actually feel like this person is holding back their true feelings. But don't be surprised if they initiate more deep and meaningful conversations. Okay. 
maybe they just feel like the space isn't safe to really express how they feel. They feel when it comes to you, Cancer, that they're very impulsive. They do impulsive things or they make impulsive moves. And that's how you know that you've got them on an emotional level, yeah? Because you can't control emotions. Emotions make you do crazy things. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. For some of you, you may have a family with this person. Um, for others of you, this person has some family issues that need healing. So I'm getting here, this could be like inner child wounds that are that have been passed through either per, their parents. But uh, either way, I'm getting that they are going through some healing or they need to heal. They feel at home with you, Cancer, because your Cancerians are all about family. So this person feels that you're their soulmate, that they feel right at home with you, Cancer, and that you give them the healing touch or they feel healed or soothed by you. Okay, you're a very nurturing person. You're a very emotionally supportive person and, and they love that about you. I'm getting uh, for some reason your person is coming through as very childlike. Like still in that little boy or little girl energy. So there is an inner child wound here, but they feel that you comfort them or you bring them comfort, you bring them reassurance, you bring them soothing energy. So there we have it, Cancer. That's your reading. Please don't forget to give us a like. Drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you for all the love and support, you guys. You know you rock. Until next time, take care.